Obviously, for us, when news came through about Brian's injury, um, obviously devastating for every fan, but it spelled opportunity for other players. How competitive has it been to, for someone to try and nail down that 13th spot? Because it's not quite nailed down yet, is it? No, it's not. And I to be honest with you, I don't think any slots are really nailed down in this Leinster team because you know there's a lot of um, competition for every position. And you know, obviously, with Brian getting in, injured, and I was talking to him today, his operation went great, and he feels good. So. Um, you know, no one's certainly no one's nailed down the spot, and you know, no one's going to step into Brian's shoes because um, they're kind of uh, they'll always be unfulfilled. But anyone that has um, played there since he's been injured, I thought has done well. Um, I played the first couple, um, and then Owen came in and did very well too. So, you know, uh, whatever um, combination Joe goes with, um, you know, it's just about Leinster and and, and getting wins. But I'm sure between, let's say, yourself and Owen, like, I mean, it is, must be very competitive there because, you know, someone wants to keep kind of hold of the jersey and I suppose especially, you know, coming into the latter stages, I mean, there could be an Ireland um, spot mm. up for grabs there as well. Of course. I know all these things are kind of, um, go, you know, uh, go with something down the line, uh, obviously with Ireland, but that's not really in our minds at the moment. But, uh, yeah, it's funny because I'm, you know, extremely good friends with Owen. So uh, the fact that we're the same position, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's competitive, but that's the way we like it. And, He's playing very well and, uh, you know, uh, hopefully the opportunities, you know, I might get this weekend or in the coming weeks, so I'll have to grab them and, and, and take advantage of them myself. Yeah, as you say, I mean, I'm sure that's a sense there, like once you are given the opportunity to make sure to, to grab it, as Owen has done, I suppose, as well the last few games. Yeah, that's all you can do. I mean, you know, uh, your actions speak louder than words, as the, the saying goes. And, uh, you know, if I am given any chances, I want to grab with both hands and uh, show Joe what I can do, you know. I'll give us your thoughts then on the Cardiff Blues as we head into this game this weekend, Fergus. Yeah, I think it's clear that they've got an extremely strong squad, probably one of the strongest in the in the Rabo. Um, they've got, you know, kind of stars across the the field uh, with some uh, serious players who were at the World Cup as well. So um, yeah, I mean they're going to be a big challenge, um, and you know, thankfully the game is home, but Cardiff have been travelling well too, so. Uh, you know, we did our vision on them today and looked over some of their stuff and you know, we're just looking forward to another match. I suppose your, your first half um, in the Heineken Cup, you know, and uh, uh, again last weekend, you know, you seem to be getting into the, the groove of the backs as well. Yeah, I think um, maybe when all of us came back from the World Cup, it was a small bit of a slow start and probably weren't playing as free flow, the free-flowing rugby that um, we can at times. But I think uh, over the last few weeks, it's been getting better and better. And, you know, fingers crossed. Obviously, we don't want to look down the line, but uh, this is going to be a big challenge this weekend. But you know, leading into the two Heinekens as well, it's going to be important to play well.